for many scientists, it can be a kind of frustrating process because um, partially because this system is so rigorous. It's not always as simple as giving or not giving the drug. Sometimes, you know, you, you can't give people placebo if they're very sick. You have to give them some sort of intervention. Some drugs are approved for certain diseases, and, um, but sometimes doctors prescribe the drugs for other diseases for which they're not technically approved for based off of either um, only partial data or, um, or simply because there are no other options for those patients. This is true for ALS, it's for Alzheimer's, you know, almost all these serious chronic diseases. And so they're organizations that support research, they support uh, lobbying and everything else. And every once in a while, the, the balance between uh, the process uh, at the FDA and the lobbying by the disease groups goes in the wrong direction. Trying to manage the understandable uh, frustration and pain that family members have uh, in a particular disease area and their desperation to get a cure or a treatment against the reality of, of drug development, the objective analysis of the benefits, risks, and side effects of drugs. But, you know, I, I really think that if you step back and look at the overall picture, it's been remarkably effective, safe, and beneficial to society.